Hello everyone and welcome back to Syncfix. I'm thrilled to have you join me today as we dive into another exciting project of Zima Boat. If you're passionate about technology and love exploring innovative solutions, you are in for a treat. In today's video, I'll be sharing one of my recent Zima Boat projects that's been turning hats. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. By installing Proxmox on this versatile single board server, you can create on the go servers without worrying about changing the configuration. I have been using Proxmox for more than 14 years. I was mainly concerned to check Proxmox on Zima board. So I'll be installing Proxmox on Zima board. So first of all, you need to download the Proxmox. So I'll be going here Proxmox. I'll be choosing Proxmox virtual environment and and download ISO image for 8.0.2 and click on download. So I'll be opening Balina Etcher to create the bootable flash test. All right, so Balina Etcher and Proxmox VE is installed. So I'll be just opening Balina Etcher here. Choose flash from file and here is Proxmox VE8 USB flash disk and I'll simply flash it. All right, so you can see here that the USB flash disk is completed. USB disk is now ready. I'll be going back to Zima board now. And in BIOS, we can see here now there are four disks which are available right now. So first I'll be booting from the USB flash disk. And then second boot, I'll be choosing theme, which is SSD. I'll save changes and exit. It is booting from the flash disk. Here is the Proxmox, which I'm installing on Zima board. I'll be using graphical user interface. Okay, so here is the end user license agreement. All right, so here are the disk options. I need to install it on the team disk. This is 256 GB SSD. So I'll be using entire disk for this purpose. And I'm installing this without touching the CASA OS, which is pre-installed in the internal storage. So I'm using external SSD to install Proxmox which means that whenever I need to have the Proxmox on the go, so I'll be connecting this particular disk with the Zima board and it will work as Proxmox. Otherwise, default OS, which is CASA OS, will be running. So it all depends on your choice. Proxmox is right now installed, so I'll be going back and changing the boot order. So first will be UEFI OS. So save changes and exit. All right, so Proxmox VE is right now running on 192.168.100.2. Let me switch back user ID and the password that I selected. And if I show you here in data center, we have PVE summary. So here you can see CPU, RAM, and here 209 GB of the storage is used. So only local LVM and local LVM theme. These two partitions are created. CT volumes and templates can be added here. And here you can have the VM disks. Uh, 120 GB will be more than enough. It will be just on the go servers. Of course, I'll be using the PFSense also so that I can secure my network. And here I'll be connecting the USB storage also with this. And if I go back here to storage disks, you can see here right now, STP is USB 3.0, which is 2 TB. I'll be mounting the USB flash disk and I'll show you how we can use those options. Let us go to the network configuration now. And here is network. You can see here that one network bridge is connected, which is connected to ENS2 SO. So I'll be creating another Linux bridge, which will be VMBR1, and it will be connected to ENP. ES0. I'll apply the configuration. Now IF up down 2 is already running. So here IP address for this which will be for my internal. So 192.168.240.5. These are two networks right now configured. One is external and this will be internal and I'll be installing now PFSense which I'll show you in next video. So my experience of installing Proxmox on Zima board was exciting. Now I have on the go server in my hand. I can take this Proxmox server anywhere with all my home lab feature. So I keep only the essential virtual machines that I need to work on all the times. PFSense is also installed here to protect my network on the go when I'm traveling. So instead of connecting to public networks, I can connect to public network 
using pfSense already installed here which protects me and my network from the external threats. If you are amazed by the possibilities of Zima board as I am, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more captivating tech content. If you have any questions or comments or any ideas for the future projects, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning into Syncflix. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating.